I still have no freaking clue how to use this power fist, but we'll figure it out. But <laughs> yeah, dudes, real quick. Again, if you're still enjoying this series, keep up the support. Hit the like button down below. And also hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Let me know down in the comments. If you do subscribe, I'll do my best to respond. And uh, yes, okay. So check this out. This episode, I have a plan. I have a troll plan. It's pretty much all set up. This thing is going to be hilarious. I'm going to make Jordan and Craner work together. But check this out. I got on to set up this troll and Craner left me an eviction notice. I haven't actually read this, right? It's full of freaking dirt. Let me delete all this crap. Get out of my face. Uh, he gave me an eviction notice. So I went up to up here to check out his house. And, and he like deleted it. He moved. <laughs> Why he gave me an eviction notice and then moved is beyond me. But check this out. On the map up here, this is where Jordan lives. And then a little bit north, this is Craner's house. No freaking clue. He gave me an eviction notice. Trollcraft laws, I think. Kind of just making this up on the go. And therefore, you have until the 14th of January to find yourself a new home. Or else. I got a new home. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> like I said. I have, I have this troll planned out. I need to set up a few more things. But before I do that, check this out. As you can see in my inventory. I have a bunch of antimatter missiles, antimatter explosives. We have the launch platform and the launch control panel. We'll be doing that in a second. I need to I need to set this up first. So I have these books over here that I'm going to be throwing in Craner and Jordan's base later on. And what these say is their coordinates. With at the end of the coordinates on page 25 back here, check this out. Maybe you should find Jordan to give you a hand. So check this out. On page one, it has half of the coordinates in Craner's book, right? And then in Jordan's book, it has the other half of the coordinates. So they have to combine the two coordinates to find where they need to go. But you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute. So first what I need to do, let me look. Yeah, we have this sigil here. The division sigil. Let's grab that. We need... Four iron, there we go, and then uh, four diamonds, right? You guys know this process, so if we do that, grab that, and I also need obsidian. Okay, we need two obsidian. Okay, so let's not do this in our base, just in case- Listen, can, can you guys please just get the freak out of my face? <laughs> let's do this over here, so if we fail, we don't break anything. So what I need to do, let's do this one by one, so let's do that just like that, okay. Grab both of these. Okay, okay, we need to do this before it blows up. Okay, hold on, hold on. Grab this, grab this. Gra no, no, please, okay, please don't blow up. Grab and there we go. This is called an etheric sword. I'll show you what this does in a second. Let's grab this, and then let's do this again. Hopefully we don't fail. Okay, okay, okay. Grab both of these. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can just calm the freak down. Calm the freak. There we go. Okay. So that's the first part of this troll. We have both of these swords, and what these swords do, check this out for you new guys. Whenever I take this sword and put it in my inventory up here, it gives me a soul fragment. Now, what this soul fragment does is it removes some of my health permanently, and I can use this soul fragment for crafting a specific item. I'll show you that later. Next up, uh, I think... I think that's all I need in my base. Hold on, let me put some stuff away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I need. Let's go scout Jordan's and Craner's bases. Yeah, let's do this. We have we have all of our missiles. We <laughs> this is gonna be good. And uh, here's the deal with this troll. As you guys know, whenever I do trolls, I try to also do achievements while I'm doing trolls. So if this on Craner and Jordan goes perfectly to plan, I'll be able to not only get points at game is is Zine did, did you break something? <laughs> Can <laughs> Hold on, are we good? 
like I was saying, if we get these trolls set up and they work perfectly, we're going to get not only points for the trolls, we're also going to get three extra points because we're going to check off three different achievements from this troll. It is going to be good. And I'll show you all. Okay, so we're at, we're at Jordan's base. It's right down there. There's all of his uh, party balloons. I <laughs> remember that. And then back here. Yeah, that's, J that's Craner's house. I mean, it's a nice looking house, but I have no freaking clue why he moved after giving me an eviction notice. <laughs> okay, so we'll go check out uh, Craner's base in a second. Uh, let's go look at Jordan's base because uh, if I want this troll to be set up correctly, I got to get their coordinates. Okay, so I need to come. Wait, what was this? Uh, for Sunday. Uh, stuff gimme. I know what this is. <laughs> He, wa <laughs> he wants his power fist and his portal gun back. You have things that I want. I have things that you want. Place your power fist and portal gun in the labeled chest next to my nether portal. Don't ask questions. The rest will become clear. I am a fair man. The freak does he have that I want? Over, over here. Insert the stuff. I don't know if I trust him. <laughs> well, what, what does he have that I want? Oh. He has Gertrude. You remember that? Whenever, it was like four episodes ago, uh, Zine put us on trial. Do I trust him? I really want this portal gun. <laughs> this portal gun is so sick. I don't know. <laughs> Let me think about this for a little bit. I'm gonna go scout Craner's base. Let me think about this for a little bit. I don't know if I could trust him. Okay. So, like I said, he made a massive house. I mean, it looks good and all, but I, I, I don't know. Let's see here. Okay. So, he has all his ME stuff. Anything else? Any elevators? No elevators? Oh, yeah, an elevator over here. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Okay, his farms are down here. Okay. This is going to make this easy. We have Craner's base and we have Jordan's base. Let me set this up. Yeah, so let's grab Jordan's base's coordinates. And I guess... Uh, we'll trust him. Jordan, don't betray me! That... Oh, is this Gertrude? But he put me in a block of chance cubes! <laughs> Freaking really, Jordan? Hey, let me, let me, I, I don't want to check if this is Gertrude yet. Okay, okay. Let's open up the chance cubes. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. So he just threw me in a giant thing of chance cubes. <laughs> let me see if this is actually Gertrude. Okay, this is Gertrude, my wife. There. <laughs> All right, Jordan. We can trust you, homie. Well played. But you guys know my rule. I have to open up all these chance cubes. I'll do this later. Remind me to open up these chance cubes later. I don't have time to do this right now. I will do this later, though. Just remind me. Hold on. Let me mark this off. Let me go back to Jordan's base, get those coordinates, go to Craner's base and get those coordinates, and then set this up. All right, so we have the launch pad set up over there. Let me do this really quick. This is where the troll site is. Number one, their first task is right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is after all this is done, I'm going to download the world and run through this troll for you. This is going to be good. Okay, so what I need to do, we have this music disc in here. Let's throw these two swords up here. Okay, that's good for this. Okay, let's, uh, th this is the third task, which is sewage. <laughs> yeah, you'll see why in a little bit. Okay. So the troll site is all set up, right? So what I need to do... Yeah, let's go back to the launch site. 
Let's do this. So we have the world all backed up. <laughs> You guys will understand soon enough. So we have the world all backed up. There's Crater's house. Jordan's house is right down there by those trees. Let's go ahead. Let's throw an antimatter nuke right there. <laughs> and then on this computer, I have uh, first Jordan's base's coordinates typed in. So all I have to do, remember, I have the world backed up. And I'm going to use that as leverage against Craner and Jordan. So... First antimatter nuke. Go! Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We'll slowly back up. <laughs> You do you over there. Did this even do anything? It looks like it hit the top of the tree and then exploded. Okay, so we have to launch some more. We, <laughs> we, we gotta launch more. Hold on. Let's try this again. Here we go. So we have the trees cleared out. Throw this, uh, throw this here. There we go. <laughs> Antimatter nuke. Go! Here we go. That is so sick. Here it goes. Oh! <laughs> that hit the red. Look at his house. Oh. <laughs> oh, and there's his house. Let's shoot one more. Antimatter nuke. Go! Here we go. Okay, let's see where this- this is so freaking sick! Here we go. Okay, I don't want to be too close, I don't want to die! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that looks pretty good. I'll- I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> All right, Craner, now it's your turn. Let's type in the new coordinates, 2310, uh, uh, 35, 3563, uh, and then a detonation height of 68. So that'll hit in on Craner's floor uh, at his house. Okay, let me make sure, hey, listen, do, do you really want to mess with somebody that has nukes in their inventory? Are you nuts, mate? <laughs> Antimatter nuke in three, two, one, go! Here we go. What just happened? Oh! <laughs> That is beautiful. Okay, so his roof is gone. Let's shoot another one uh, at his actual base now, at his machines. Second antimatter nuke. Let's do this. Here we go. Like, why is it disappearing? Dang it, I wish it wasn't disappearing. I love this animation. Okay, okay, let's see here. <laughs> Look at this. Should we shoot another one just for good measure? <laughs> Let's lower the detonation height by like 30. Okay, so it's going to detonate 30, uh, 30 more blocks in the ground. Okay, let's sli switch this to off. There we go. Another nuke. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this destroys his, uh, growth pulsers. It should. <laughs> there we go. A massive hole. Look at these holes. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so I went back to my house. I made a bunch of pink cobblestone just so they can see it better, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do, let me create, uh, I guess, just a massive platform here so you can easily see it. So they can easily see it right in the center here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chest here with Jordan's book in here that shows the coordinates. Remember this book, it shows half of the coordinates with on page 25, it says to go get Craner. So let's throw this in here. Let's go over to Craner's base, old base. <laughs> let's do the exact same thing. Yeah, let's build this. At, is, that's a creative energy cell. Z Zine, you, you gotta delete your projects, homie. <laughs> okay, let's do this right here. So Craner can see this. Throw this here. Uh, and I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is his book. Yeah, this is his book. Let's throw this book right there. So it's all set up. It's going to say those two need to work together to get the coordinates. And those coordinates will lead them over to the obsidian building over here where they have to do the three tasks. So what I'm going to do now, let me make sure everything is complete. We have Gertrude, we have everything backed up. Let me download this current world and I'll run through the troll like I'm Craner and Jordan working together. All right, we have everything backed up. So when they get here, they'll see the one, they'll walk in <laughs> and then they'll see this. We have a jukebox with two discs in it. So what this, this first part is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Check this out. This is all for achievements. Check this out, just listen. Hey, Craner and Jordan, so if you guys want to get your houses back, you got to go through a series of events and work together. I'm sick and tired of seeing you guys at each other's throats, trolling each other. So I want to defuse that situation. I'll take a point, please. <laughs> so for your first task, what I want you to do is listen to this song. Now I want you two to make an eight line song together saying how much you love me. I want the first line to be sung by Craner, the second line to be sung by Jordan, and then keep going back and forth until you reach all eight lines. The other disc in this chest is the entire song. Have fun. <laughs> so you heard it. They gotta make an eight-line song, both of them singing to this song here. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be beautiful. And this achievement here, as you heard in the, the beginning, I'm diffusing their trolls. Hold on, let me show you this. Yeah, right here, successfully diffuse or de-escalate a troll. So hopefully that'll be a point. <laughs> Okay, so once they sing me a song, they'll go to the next room, which is number two. Now, this one gets a little bit dark. <laughs> check this out. Let me get the disc. Now, check this out. Well, I'm glad you guys could make it to the next task. That first one wasn't that bad, was it? Now, this task, I need to go get somebody. Let me go find Villain Derp Sunday. Hello, Crater and Jordan. So, for your next task... You have to give me something. In front of you, you will see a chest with two swords in it. Put these swords in your crafting area. Remove a part of yourself. Give me your souls. <laughs> After you remove your souls, throw them in the hoppers below and then go to your final task. How bad do you want your houses back? Will you give me your souls to get what you love back? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what they have to do, they have to take the swords, put it up here, give me their soul. Now watch my health whenever I do this. Watch this. I just lost a, I just lost a heart. <laughs> And then Crater has to do it also. 
and he has to lose a heart. And then take these fragments, throw them in the hopper. What that does is it sends it back to my ME system. And then I will have their soul hearts for a specific purpose. Check this out. This achievement here, craft a reinforced watering can that can hold up to the rigors of your energetic farming. And to craft a reinforced uh, watering can, it takes a soul fragment. Which I didn't want to use my health for it, I wanted to use them. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, whenever they tell me that they've done this troll, I'm going to log on to the server, go in the ME system, grab the soul fragments, and then uh, whenever they finish this troll, I'll re-back up the world and replace it with the old world with the new player files in it. So they will forever have lowered health, and I will have their soul fragments. <laughs> and I can check this one off the list once it's done. Let's go to the final step. Now the final step is just ridiculous. <laughs> and it's the first part of a three-part troll. Check this out. Well, I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the final task. Now, now you'll see in front of you the, the sewage. It's simple. Bathe in it! <laughs> Have fun, you two! Take a sewage bath together! Don't forget your floaties! <laughs> now what this is, I know you guys are thinking this is stupid, but check this out. There's another achievement here. Successfully make someone touch sewage three trolls in a row. This is my first troll. Next time I troll somebody, I'm gonna make them touch sewage again. <laughs> So there we go. That is a, a three-part series coming soon, but this is the troll. My main goal from all of this is to get the soul fragments. Plus, you know, I want to hear him sing to me. <laughs> so there it is, dudes. For now, I'm going to end this here again. If you guys...